Hey everybody, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps and today we're going to be making a card using some supplies from their latest release. We are going to be using some black and white cardstock here. These are just 80 pound Nina Solar White and then some black cardstock Admine Stash. We're also going to be using some white here for card bases. We're also going to be using some pattern paper from the Funfetti Birthday Pack that just recently released. We're going to be using black and white. And we're also going to be using the stamp set and the matching die set of caps and gowns. So let's go ahead and get started making this card. So now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the stamps uh, stamped out on the paper. And we're going to go ahead and put the male and the female here along with the hats. And um, there were some parts that I stamped out that I did not use for this. I believe it was maybe the diploma. Um, I decided not to use that um, for my card, but I'll save it for later for some other time. So we go ahead and get those stamped out. We are using the Intense Black Ink from Honey Bee uh, Stamps. And then we're just going to do some Copic coloring here. I'm going to do this super fast. I think I believe this is eight times faster than what I did it in. Um, I'm just going to use some various blues here, and I'm just going to go back and forth from the lightest to the darkest, and then I'll go from the darkest to the lightest. And I'll keep doing that until the gown is completely full. Now I do do the exact same thing on the female version, except for I use some reds. And um, basically that was the only difference between the two here. Now, now I'm gonna do the second piece of the gown here, and I'm just using some grays. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm doing lighter to darker and then darker to lighter. And then for the hair, I decided to go with a reddish brown hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. Darker to light, light to dark. Now we're going to go ahead and color in the skin. I use some E34, E37, and E35 on this and did some blending to get that arm and the back of the neck uh, colored. And then I'm just using some blue. Uh, bluish gray for the collar there. Now what we're going to do is use the matching die sets here to go ahead and get these cut out. Again you can see that the red um, I colored it pretty much the same way except for it's just in red and not blue. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy taped down and then we'll go ahead and put it through the die cutting machine and we'll have them cut out. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the sentiments placed onto the black cardstock here. We're going to be doing some heat embossing with some white embossing powder. So we're just going to use the embossing buddy here or the powder static <laughs> powder static tool to go ahead and get that static off the paper so that the embossing powder will stick to the places it needs to stick to and not to the places it's not supposed to be to. So with these, you guys, you know I'm always talking about it. These dies for the words are amazing. Have to get them if you can. Totally worth the price. So now we're gonna go ahead and start uh, putting the card together here. So I'm actually putting two cards together. They're gonna be super similar. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where I want everything to be onto the card. You know, where am I going to sit the sentiment? Where is this going to go? How high does this need to go? Where does this need to be? So um, I'm basically putting the cards together here and I'll go ahead and do the final versions here. I want to see exactly where I want everything because, you know, you guys, once you glue something down, it's almost impossible to get it to be, um, you know, picked back up. So we're going to go ahead and use some honeybee stamps glue here and go ahead and get the first part placed onto the panel. There we go, it's even, my head didn't show up, that's crazy. And now we'll go ahead and get the panel glued down to the card base. And now we are going to um, put the pieces onto the card. So what I decided to do on this card was glue the sentiment to the bottom of the boy here. And then what I'm going to do is use some 3M foam tape and I'm going to place him up on the card along with the hat as well. And I'll be doing the same process for the red and the blue. So this is a short video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Please make sure you head over to Honeybee Stamps and their website and check out their latest release. 
Also, make sure you check them out over on Instagram and over here on YouTube. Check out some other videos. And you can also find me on YouTube and Instagram by searching for Bromero Cards. So this is the end of the um, video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And you guys have a great week. Summer in Chicago is starting and starting to get super excited. So thank you guys very much. Have a great one. Bye.